Long runs can be tough. Most of us want to run longer distances because we need to train for long distance races that we want to run. So how do you run longer? How can you train to run a longer distance? Uh, besides just going out there all the time running, uh, there are some things that you can do to make it easier to run longer. So uh, let's talk about those things. If you're new to the channel, my name is Arno. The channel is Run Arno Run. I post all kinds of run related videos here. So if that is your thing, then subscribe down below so you don't miss any videos. Let's start at the beginning before you actually go out on your run. Uh, you've planned out your run. You know you have to run X amount of miles for your training run. So how do you feel about this? Um, are you dreading it? Or do you not feel like it? You think it's gonna be a tough run? Or uh, yeah, you think you might not make it to the end? Uh, Chances are, if that's how you feel, you're gonna have a bad time on your run. Try and stay positive. Don't focus on possible negative outcomes. Uh, you're training for something. You're working on your health, your stamina, uh, and you have a great race to look forward to. So uh, focus on more positive things and uh, realize that this training run is getting you closer to your goal. It's just one more step in your training journey of becoming a better runner. And in about an hour or two hours, uh, you're gonna be happy that you did it. So stay positive and know that you are growing, you're getting better. If you go out with a positive attitude and actually want to go running, you will uh, have a better time doing it and you will actually uh, perform better and grow faster. When you start out on your run, make sure that you don't go out too fast. Pace yourself. Uh, when you start out too fast, uh, you will end up somewhere along your run uh, slowing down. Uh, it'll feel like it's harder because you're tired, which will make you slow down even more. Uh, so if you pace yourself at a steady pace that you know you can sustain throughout the entire length of your run, you will have a better time doing it and uh, you'll be able to go longer. Which gets us to running with proper running form. Now if you're running with proper form, uh, you will actually be able to run longer. Now uh, this means running up straight, uh, no swaying from side to side, no flailing of the arms and uh, running with proper stride. Try and lend your feet on the ground underneath your body. Now when you're uh, on your run and you're getting tired, you might feel like uh, hunching forward and, and not running up straight anymore because you're tired. But uh, this actually costs way more energy. It'll make you more tired. It will make you slower, so it'll take a lot longer. So uh, running up straight is actually easier because it'll uh, get you there faster and it'll take less energy. That being said, you do wanna make sure that you're comfortable in the way that you run. Uh, now, if the way you run is not the most economic way, uh, but you're comfortable running and uh, you can sustain the pace you need to run, then by all means, uh, keep running the way you're running. You can always uh, change little things like uh, paying attention to how you move your arms and change that or uh, paying attention to how you place your feet. Uh, but most important, be comfortable in the way that you run. Running a longer distance doesn't necessarily mean that you have to run at the same speed. Uh, now, I know that I said before that you have to keep a steady pace, but you can keep a steady pace while running and still have little walk breaks if you need it. Uh, if you need to uh, catch your breath, let your heart rate settle a little bit, uh, just take a little walk break and then start running again. A good exercise to do during these little walk breaks is to check your breathing. Now, uh, during our running, we're not always paying close attention to our breathing. Uh, you can do these exercises while you're running as well, but since we're taking a little walk break, uh, all you need to do is uh, inhale through your nose and take a deep breath. Really pay attention to that breath and feel your, your lungs filling with air. Feel your belly coming forward. Really pay attention to what's happening while you're breathing. And then exhale. As you exhale, feel the stress and the exhaustion of that run just blow out of you. Um, repeat this about five times and you will, you will see that the stress of the run is gonna go away. It's a, it's a quick and easy way to uh, get your focus back on your task and to get ready for the rest of your run. The last tip that I have for you is that I want you to push yourself. Now, I don't mean that you need to sprint at the end of your run, but um, yeah, once it gets to the end of the run, it might get tougher and you might feel like you want to give up. Uh, you have one minute to go, but you feel like you just want to walk the rest of the way instead of continuing your run. And this is where you need to get into the mindset of wanting to finish your run. Uh, a race isn't over until you cross that finish line and your training run shouldn't be any different. Uh, so 
once it gets down to that last minute of your run, just uh, think of it as it's only a minute. Uh, you can do anything for a minute. Just set your mind to it, push yourself, and get to that end of your run. Uh, you, uh, you set a goal for yourself, you set out to do something, get it done, and you'll feel so much better about yourself. If you enjoyed these tips, give the video a like down below, uh, subscribe to the channel uh, for more running tips. Until next time, get out there and run.